So today, let's look at how we can affect all these clips in our timeline using one single node. G'day, I'm Drew from Gingo Productions, and today, like I said in the intro, I don't know why I'm repeating this, let's see how we can change all these clips using a single node. If you like things about DaVinci Resolve, maybe some tricks and tips you want to learn, and some color grading obviously, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a really interesting thing to talk about at the end of this video, make sure to wait until the very end, or you can just skip ahead of course, I mean, how would I know that? And uh, we'll talk about some editing that's going to be coming up. 34 degrees in Australia at the moment, so it is scorching hot. I have no idea how hot it is in your country. <laughs> I also have no idea what temperature system you use, degrees or Celsius, I mean, who knows? Fahrenheit? Is that a, that's a thing, right? Fahrenheit? Yeah, I feel like Fahrenheit something you guys would talk about. I mean, I don't know why we're talking about this, whether it's something you talk about on the first date. <laughs> Everything is going really awkward. You have nothing else to talk about. You know that dates. That's it. After this date. If you're talking about the weather on a first date, forget about it. There's, no, there's not going to be a second date. Let's try and talk about DaVinci Resolve instead. If you're on a first date, just talk about DaVinci Resolve. Everyone loves DaVinci Resolve and you'll get a second date. 100%. 100%. <laughs> you won't get a second date. Enough about that. Okay, so we have our clip here. So I made this short film for a charity. Well, for a donation to a charity. A friend of mine gave me some money to donate. So I made a thank you video for them. And I knew the whole clip was going to be black and white. So instead of going along and let's say desaturating this clip here and then holding shift and highlighting all these clips, middle mouse button clicking here and making them all desaturated. So what I did instead was I came up to my nodes here, go to this little button here, timeline word will come up. Well, the word saying timeline will come up. Not a timeline word. That makes no sense. Anyway, oh, I'm on fire today. Click on that little button, right? Now, we make a new node. So Alt-S to make a serial node. I think it's Command-S on a Mac. Should I say... Do you want me to say the Mac shortcuts or just have it up on the screen? To be honest, I can't remember all the Mac shortcuts. <laughs> but if you want me to say them, then I'll, I'll say them. Sorry, again, we're off track. I'm trying to focus. All right, here we go. This is what we're going to do. This node here is our timeline node, meaning it's going to affect every single clip in our timeline. We know it's going to be black and white. Desaturate it. So now every single clip in your timeline is black and white. And that will save you so much hassle. I don't know, if you have like poor clips, then yeah, just go ahead and, you know, copy it across, simple as. But let's say you have 10,000 clips in your timeline. Not that you ever would. Let's say Bizarro World, you did. Then this way, it affects every single one, saves heaps of time, and it's really quick. So why wouldn't you do it? Anyway, so that's something really handy to know and something I use all the time. I mean, I use it for this project, so obviously uh, something I do use all the time. That is something that's going to help you out in the future, so why not learn it? And you have. Too easy. Alrighty, so let's talk about what I spoke about at the start of the video, and that is I shot another project for a friend of mine who donated me some money, and it was a horror vibe. I'm not sure when, but in the weeks coming up, I'm going to upload the footage for you guys to download, and then we'll go through it together, and we'll grade a couple of clips from that project. So it's shot at 8 to 1 on Brawa at 4K, aspect ratio 16 to 9. So the clips are quite large, so I'm not going to put all of them up, but I'll put a couple of them up. So once we have a, a look that we kind of like, I mean that I like, I'm not one grading them, we'll go along together, and I'll show you how I came up with that look. But then I'll put up all the clips for you guys to download. But I'll put them up as a more compressed version. I'll just have a couple of different versions of each take, basically. And then we can go through the clips together. We can actually put together a short film. By the end of that video, you guys will have a little short film. Now, of course, you can't claim it's your short film. If you are interested in editing, it's actually really hard to find footage out there to edit. So I thought I'd also make this channel also about editing. These clips here will help you to understand the editing process, how to make a short film, and the things you have to look out for. Because each clip is going to be kind of a little bit different in terms of like the actor's face and the actor's reaction. And I'll discuss the points of why I chose that clip, how I wanted that moment to feel, and what I was sort of going for in the overall mood of the short film. Anyway, so that is something to look forward to. It's actually quite exciting. I'm really excited to put it together. Quite a big project. I'll see if I can do it sooner rather than later. And that'll be something that'll be very cool for you guys to have a look at and very exciting for you guys to jump in there and have a look. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is actually the second time I recorded it. I recorded it before. It was, I don't know. I had some problems and I was like, I'll just re-record it. 
So I've been Drew from Gringo Productions. I hope it's not scorching hot in your country. And you have a great day. Thanks for watching.